Hi, I'm Candace from TopCon Healthcare, and this is Lainey. Today, we're gonna to show you how to take axial length and topography measurements using the Maya. Before you capture data with the Maya, you can either create a new patient or select an existing one. To enter a new patient, make sure you're under the New tab, then enter the patient's last name, first name, date of birth, patient ID, and you can also put their gender. Once you're done, select New Exam to begin. If you have an existing patient, click the List tab and select the existing patient. Click New Exam to start. You will now be in the Acquisition screen. From here, you will see a variety of testing options at the bottom of the screen. For the purpose of testing for myopia management, we will be using the topography plus biometry setting, which is the Maya's default setting. In this testing mode, the Maya will acquire keratometry or corneal curvature measurements as part of the corneal topography assessment and axial length measurements, which is the distance from the front surface of the cornea to the retinal pigment epithelium layer at the back of the retina. Have the patient come forward and place their chin on the chin rest and have their forehead touching the bar. You can move the chin rest height by touching the arrows at the bottom left or the bottom right of the screen. You want to align the outer corner of the patient's eye to the canthus markers on the forehead rest of the Maya. Use the joystick to move the Maya in front of the right or left eye until OD for the right eye or OS for the left eye lights up. Traditionally, the right eye is tested first, but you can start with either eye. Then center and focus the eye on the video screen. Moving the joystick left or right moves the eye horizontally in the video screen. Rotating the joystick clockwise or counterclockwise moves the eye vertically on the screen. Pushing the joystick forward or pulling it back focuses the eye. Once the eye is centered and in focus, push the button on top of the joystick once. Symbols will appear on the screen at the four corners to guide fine focusing. Red arrows indicate that you should push forward slightly. Blue arrows indicate that you should pull back slightly. Green arrows indicate that the focus is just right. Have the patient blink once and then open wide. Push the button again and the mile will acquire keratometry and axial length measurements. When the word processing appears on the screen, the patient can blink again without disrupting data capture. Pull the Maya back and move to the fellow eye to repeat the process again. Okay, blink. Good, and hold there. When the word processing appears on the screen, the patient can blink again without disrupting data capture. Before you let the patient leave the device, have a quick look at the results and make sure all the results have been displayed with no warning signs. The results will appear on the left side of the screen for the right eye and on the right side of the screen for the left eye. And that's how you capture data with the Maya. For more information on how to use the Maya, please check out TopCon Healthcare University and we will see you later.